With new information and an ongoing WCCO investigation, we have learned the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI are now leading the criminal investigation into a swimming pool contractor. Charles Workman is accused of taking tens of thousands of dollars from Minnesota families and not finishing the job. And there's a major update in the civil investigation filed by the Attorney General. Here's WCCO's Jennifer Merrily. Family after family say they were fooled by Charles Workman, a contractor they hired to build a swimming pool. That's why he said just pay me cash. Backyards ripped up, gaping holes left behind. Work on promised pools unfinished or not started at all. Ruined my yard, cut my patio, broke my fence, and took my money. The strain on families impossible to fully calculate. I mean, now it's time away from my family because I'm doing extra things to make more money on the side. And it doesn't stop there. Every single day, it's added stress to my family, to me, to whatever my plans are. After WCCO exposed workmen took more than a million dollars collectively from more than a dozen Minnesota families and abandoned the jobs, the attorney general civilly sued him in August. This is deceptive a trade practice. Uh, this is fraud. This is it's morally wrong, but it's also illegal. Workman hasn't responded to any of the legal filings. So the AG's office filed what's called a motion for default to award a judgment without Workman showing up. Accompanying paperwork asks a judge to declare his actions illegal, saying his scheme was extremely deceptive and designed to repeatedly victimize the same consumers. And to rule in favor of the victims to refund their money, paying out a total of $2.2 million in restitution and civil penalties, plus covering the state's legal fees and court costs. It also asks a judge to order workmen to never work in the construction industry in Minnesota again. And we hope that that's kind of the starting point. Long term, criminal would be the ideal outcome, but anything civil, just to again have a victory, to have something to say like this is what we've been through. On top of that, WCCO discovered at the same time workmen promised to do the jobs in Minnesota, he was renting Airbnbs in Kentucky. Two people there are suing him and his new company for non-payment of rent. The civil suits accuse workmen of skipping out on nearly $10,000 in one case, five grand in the other, and they note workmen said they will pay and we have the money, but never showed. It's the same story, it's the same actions, and he just literally keeps getting away with it in different situations. It's hard to watch. Workman has a previous criminal conviction in his home state of Kentucky of theft by deception. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Workman has a current license to work in Kentucky. We are told that's under review. We reached out to Workman through the contact information he provided to work in Kentucky, but have not heard back. He's scheduled to be in court on the civil case with the Attorney General's office in Minnesota later this month.